Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel, Yashua Salman. Today I'm doing a review for Kinds of Kindness, starring Emma Stone, Margaret Qualley, Jesse Plemons, Joe Alwyn, Hunter Schaefer, William Defoe, Hong Chao, Man, Man, Ma, Adu, Mamadu, Athi, Yeah, I and directed by Yorgos from Lanthimos. Yes, I saw this a couple of weeks ago in theaters, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, sorry, it took me a long time to make a review for this. I just had to kind of sit with the film for a while, and I was pretty confident the entire time that I liked this movie. I saw it twice, and. And I mean, it just, it didn't get boring or bad the second time over, I still feel the same. Uh, again, Emma Stone does a great performance. Um, Jesse Plemons is just amazing, as always. And um, Willem Dafoe, I think I like him with this director, so it could showcase, it really helps him, like, show off his range as an actor and I, I I think he's a great actor that needs to be recognized I think he is recognized by people you know the younger generation but um I um I I just enjoy everybody uh you know I thought it was like a play I thought it was like very abstract and I mean I wasn't a big fan of The Lobster. I felt like The Lobster was just meandering and just kind of boring. And I think maybe it's just the cast didn't have a lot of chemistry. But I think when he has a good cast with chemistry and he's, you know, and I think he's just getting better as a director. Like, honestly, I think uh, Kinds of Kindness is better than Poor Things. Um, and I know a lot of people would disagree, but it's my review and I'm just being honest, you know. I just personally find kinds of kind of this more more interesting and strong stronger um, um, I don't know stronger pacing I think poor things kind of feels like things have start to happen randomly and I mean not in a good way unlike kinds of kindness is random where it feels like it all kind of is just abstract like every moment is an abstract metaphor for something and like poor things it feels like it's trying to be a coherent story throughout but at the same time you know taking these abstract approaches to the the, the, the scenes and i don't know it just kind of feels like a little like just like i said fluff you know and uh rather than you know um actual i don't know uh i'm trying to like i, I mean i'm just really into this movie i i feel like this movie is not getting enough respect that it should I think a lot of people I don't think a lot of people were even to go see this or heard about it um but I don't think every movie needs to be a blockbuster hit I think some movies are always are just prone to be under the radar and I don't know I just like this director and I think he um is making another film soon so I'm looking forward to that um yeah let me you know, it's, 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 so the story is just like, you know, it's, it's, I can't really explain it, because it's, it's so intricate and bizarre, and it's three stories that take place in anthology, and I like anthology stories, um, I, I like Goosebumps, I mean, not Goosebumps, uh, um, what is it? Oh, I forget what it was called. Not Goosebumps, but oh, Creep Show. You know, so I'm I actually have a passion for anthologies. You know, and I mean, I think it works well with that. I think everyone's story 
uh, each story has a different flavor um, and I wasn't bored in any moment um, yeah um, uh, I like how it was written I think uh, the dialogue is vague and but it has this punchy energy as well you know and I don't know it's definitely like something that is just really I don't know it's uh it's not for everybody I don't think the movie is really for everybody I think that only a certain niche crowd will be fun of this uh, I'm part of that niche crowd I, I'm, I'm assuming but you know, because every time I go to the theater, I was like laughing at jokes, and other people just not even laugh. They're like kind of just looking, you know. And it's just like, um, or it just might be people are becoming more like androids psychologically nowadays. But I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think of things to say about kinds of kind of cinematography is good. I like the cinematography. I, I think it has this really beautiful color palette I think it has uh, a great pacing uh, yeah I, I'm going to really like this director's work and I think that you know he, he should be work well I, I, heard, I heard he's gonna be working with Jesse Plemons uh, on his, in, in a movie he's gonna leave by himself But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, that's pretty much it. If I have to rate this film, 10 out of 10. Um, a masterpiece. Uh, I genuinely loved it. Um, I didn't find it boring or, or uh, really. I don't. I, even though it, it's like not spilled out to you, and, and you know, I think it's. I think there's joy in like interpreting something, you know, of substance instead of just looking at pretty lights you know but you know it is what it is um um yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below um if you like this you didn't like this i'd like to know and if you wanted to watch more videos with me or be or uh, notify whenever I release it, any content. Um, no, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, may the force be with you. Peace and out.